Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Hub on Facebook. How many times have you brought an item over and you want this item right here, okay, the one that has really nothing on the inside, but you don't want this heavy, thick, chunky uh, outline. You don't want to sit here and have to erase it and try to make it a perfect outline. What can you do? I'm going to show you. I know this is Jack Skellington. This is one of my favorite characters. This file is for personal use. It is not a commercial uh, item, so this is fine for me to use. Most things that you see are for my own personal use. We're going to come up to Effects and go to, let me show you again in case you missed this. You're going to go to Shadow, shadow Layer. Okay, you don't want that. You want Blackout Shadow. Click OK. Well, Look at what it does. Well, that didn't help me. Wrong, it did. And I'll show you what we're going to do. As soon as I get it back where it needs to be. <clears throat> okay. We're going to click off it and then come back in here and we're going to highlight it all. We're going to come up here to path and we're going to click back minus front. And if you feel I'm going too quickly through this tutorial, please click the pause button. All right, here we go. It gave us exactly what we need. If you want to get rid of this layer, you can either come in here, increase the size, and can come around here and erase it all when your eraser wants to participate with you. Or you can come up to Object after you have it all highlighted. You can come up to Object. And click break apart and don't freak out when it all goes to that color and delete that part come back in here highlight everything go back up to object and merge and there you go you have exactly what you were wanting you have your piece that is full and ready to send to your stick all right guys thanks a lot um, if you have any questions you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook. Thanks a lot.